guys, welcome to our next, our second audio editing tutorial video on our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about learning how to edit voices with audacity, speech and talking and stuff like that. So we're going to learn some cool techniques, we're going to start off with some simple trimming and, to get, and then get into some more fun stuff. And as a matter of fact, if you make it to the end of this video, I'll show you how to do an effect like this with audacity. I am a robot. Something like that. No, not that cool, but it's at least, at least something. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record me saying something, and I'm going to intentionally like pause in it, like I'm trying to figure out what to say, so I can show you how to fix things like that in the audio. And now let me say this real quick. First also, as you can tell, I have a mic right here, and I plug this straight into the computer, and you can buy them online or on, you know, just online sites, I'm sure. Or if you don't have a speaker though, you can just use your phone and record your voice. It's just a rather indirect process. It's a lot faster to be able to record it straight from the computer. And you see right here on this little drop down menu, I have front microphone selected. And so whatever works for you to record audio. Alright, so I'm just going to hit record and we're going to record this. Apostolic Game Designers is an all apostolic uh, game crew. Okay. So, I stuttered right there, and we're going to fix it. So let's go ahead and play this real quick. Let me go ahead and cut out this first part. Now let's play. Apostolic Game Designers is an all-apostolic uh, game crew. Okay, so let's cut that out. And so what we're going to do, uh, we don't want that. I could, I could turn that into a sound effect, though, probably. You know, I, if, if this was just any other time, I'd take it and turn it into sound effect, but since it's for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to waste your time. So I'm just going to select this audio that I don't need, this gap right here, and just select it, the part that I don't want, and go right here to these scissors and click cut. Now if I hit play, Apostolic Game Designers is an all-apostolic game crew. And that sounds pretty good. So that's how you can very easily trim audio. And if you don't like how you say a certain word and you want to replace it, you can just record, re-record, press this record button and it will do another track and then you can just copy that word kind of like this. Let me give you an example. I'm just selecting a random bit right here. And on the keyboard or just control C on the keyboard or edit, copy and you can just select what you want to replace and click edit, paste and it will just replace it with what you copied. So you can replace words with other words like that, but I don't want to in this case. So I'm just going to press Control Z on the keyboard to undo and delete that. And then I'm done with this part, so I'm just going to close that too. So let's go into another part of audio editing. It's very easy to trim the audio just like that. Can't really think of anything else I'm going to say. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to show you now how to do some other stuff with Audacity. Now suppose I know my voice might be pretty cool, but suppose I wanted to have a nice deep voice. So how, you, how can you do that with Audacity? So let's hit record. I am a really cool dude. Alright, play that. I am a really cool dude. Alright, trim out that right there. And I'm just going to cut out the background noise right now just to make it crystal clear. So again, like I said in the last video, select the part that has only background noise. Go to Effect, Noise Reduction, select Get Noise Profile, then select the whole track by clicking on the front part right here. Then go to Effect, Noise Reduction, and click OK. In the last video, I talked a little bit about how that works. So it should not have much background I am a all. really cool dude. Okay, so let's give this really cool dude. Suppose he's in a game and he's bragging about himself. And you want him to sound really cool. So how are we going to do that? We're going to do it by, well, one thing we can do is change his fit, pitch. So select everything by clicking right here. Go to Effect, and Change Pitch. And now here's where the really fun stuff gets to go. Now here's where you can actually enter a number that will show how much to change. And now it's at zero right now, so it's not going to change at all. If I want to make it deeper, I'm going to enter a negative number, say for example negative 20 or 30. And if I want to make my voice higher, I'm going to enter a positive number, like 20 or 30. And you can actually go right here and select a specific key. Suppose for example, you've got a music track or even a karaoke track and you want to change the key so it's easier to sing along with, you can do that. And I've actually done that before. But in this case, I'm going to make it lower. So I'm going to enter negative. I'm going to enter about 30. It really depends on how deep your voice is already. But I'm going to click OK. And you notice it changed it a little bit, but it sounds a lot different if I play it. I am a really cool dude. Okay, so that's kind of hard to tell what he said. So I'm going to undo that 
go to effect, change pitch, and we're going to try this again. Try it about negative 25. And you, sometimes you can play around with it to see what works. Now, here's something, though, that will save you a little bit of time. Instead of every time doing the change pitch and then just clicking OK, see if it works, and if not, undo it, you can actually preview it straight from here before actually applying it. So to do that, just click preview. I am a really cool dude. Okay, so, and um, I'm going to change it to about 23, and that should be good. I am a really cool dude. Alright, we're going to click OK. So click play. I am a really cool dude. That's good to know. And so that's how you change pitch. So let's change the pitch and make it higher. So I'm going to click right here and click record. And I'm a dude with a screechy voice. Okay, so let's select right here, just effect. We're going to amplify it real quick. And I think this front part right here, we don't need. Let me play it real quick. Just select it, and again, to play a specific part, you're going to see a gray line right here. Just move that green arrow to the front of that gray area. And Okay, so I'm just going to take that and trim it out. So click play. And I'm a dude with a screechy voice. All right, and there's just a little bit of icky noise over there. So I'm going to trim that out. Now click right here. I'm go and I'm going, we're going to go to effect and change pitch. So what I'm going to do, we're going to, instead of negative, we're going to do positive. So enter about 23, preview. And I'm a dude with a screechy voice. Now, that sounds weird. I know it does. And it does a lot when you're increasing the pitch. It works a lot better, it seems to me, uh, decreasing it. Let's try 30. And I'm a dude with a screechy voice. Okay, so let's make it really screechy. You can make it as screechy as you want to. This is a lot of fun to just play around with, but let's try, try 40. And I'm a dude with a screechy voice. And if you want to sound like a chipmunk, you got to put it way up there. And I'm a dude with a screechy voice. Okay, click OK. And now what I'm going to do is you can actually, you see we have two different tracks here, and every time you hit record, really cool. it starts a new track. And I'm a track. dude with a screechy voice. Okay, so it starts a new track every time you hit record, so that can result in a lot of different tracks. Now, suppose you want to merge the two tracks, the way you do that is first select the front part here, just click on this first track, then hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and left click on the second track, and go to tracks, mix, and render, and now they're one track. I am a really cool dude. And I'm a dude with a screechy voice. Okay, so let's try this one more time, changing the pitch, but this time we're going to change the pitch by key. We're going to select the specific key we want our voice to be in. So I'm going to click right here and okay I don't know what to say. Okay. So again right click right here just effect. I'm going to amplify it again real quick. I just like to do that. And so now let's go to effect change pitch. So to change it to a specific key what you're going to do this shows the key it's in originally and now you can just select a key that you want it to be in. Suppose A. Okay, I don't know what to say. Okay, that sounds right, kind of weird. And then you can select C, for example. Okay, I don't know what to say. Okay. And so it looks like most of these are going to be keys that are going up. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to change it, if you wanted to make it go down, I'm not sure why there's no keys for going down, but there we go. You can press this down arrow and decrease it. And pitch. So anyway, okay. So we're gonna click OK. Shift select this track right here. Tracks, mix and render. So it's just a lot of stuff to play around with. So let's check out what we got again. I am a really cool dude. And I'm a dude with a screechy voice. And the last dude. <laughs> Can't even tell what he's saying. All right, so. Let's close that. We're done with this part. So now what we're going to do is get into a part where you can actually speed up your voice. Now suppose you're, I mean, not a very nice thing to do, but you're like one of those people who are at the end of the ads and they're like talking so fast you can't hear a word that they say. Now suppose you want an effect like that. So how do you do it? So we're going to record and we're just going to be like, okay, disclaimer, this item could ruin your life. It could cause horrible things and it could destroy everything you own and you don't want that to happen so don't you dare buy this item okay so just a disclaimer like that let me trim off the end because you have a little bit of extra noise here and a little bit at the beginning so play this real quick just a little disclaimer bit. this 
and things. Gonna, Click there. And it could happen, so don't you dare buy this item. Okay, so now let's change the speed. So again, it'll select everything. We're going to go to effect. And now you've got change speed. So let's click on that. And now what we want to do is we're going to enter a percent. And I'm trying to remember. Okay, so. Sorry about that. So negative makes it longer and positive makes it shorter. So let's do about, and I don't, I don't want this to crash. Let's try about 70. If you if it's too high, I actually had like the program. I think it crashed one time when I put it too high. So let's try about 70 and hopefully the program won't crash. Click OK. And now what's gonna sound like this? Disclaimer, this item could ruin your life. It could cause horrible things and it could destroy everything you own and you don't want that to happen, so don't you dare buy this item. Okay, so you notice it changed the pitch of the voice. And it sounds kinda weird. You don't really want suppose you have an ad, you don't want it to sound like that. So what you could do? You can go just go to effect and change pitch again and you suppose you can change it back to something more realistic which suppose negative 30 click play disclaimer this item could ruin your life it could cause horrible things and it could just then let's you can actually repeat that same thing right here around the top of the list it will give an option to repeat your last action or you can just select right here and press on the keyboard control r and that might be too deep. Disclaimer, this item could ruin your life, it could cause horrible things, and it could destroy everything you own, and you don't want that to happen, so don't you dare buy this item. Okay, so, yeah, something like that, and again, you could actually change the speed again, you could do the same thing, and that's a lot faster. Disclaimer, this item could ruin your life, it could cause horrible things, and it could destroy everything you own, and you don't want that to happen, so don't you dare buy this item. That's more like it. And then you can change the pitch. Now, let me undo all that. And then we got the original track right here. There's one other thing you can do. There's another effect called change tempo. And that kind of does the same thing, but. Disclaimer this item could ruin your life, it could cause horrible things, and it could destroy everything you own, and you don't want that to happen. So, yeah, when I when, change tempo doesn't really seem like the best option for actually speeding up an item. It tends to, almost seems to mess it up sometimes. And you don't want that to happen, so don't you dare buy this item. It can cause echo sometimes, but you notice in the case like this, disclaimer, this item, it sounds a little bit better. And so, in some cases you'll find it doesn't work, in some cases you'll find it does. And for some reason it seems like when I use it sometimes, it causes the same sound like to repeat multiple times. So I don't know, but in this case, disclaimer, this item could ruin your life, it could cause horrible things. It sounds better, so effect, repeat, change tempo, let's see what it sounds Disclaimer, this item could ruin your life, it could cause horrible things, and it could destroy everything you own, and you don't let that happen to so this item. Okay, so that's how you speed up your voice. So now let's go ahead and get to another really cool effect, add echo to your voice. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit record. I hear an echo. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, again, cut out that last noise, and just cut out a little bit at the beginning. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to set it so that only the last word will echo. I, I just think it will sound cool. You know, I hear, and, and then echo, the last word echoes. The first three words don't. So to do that, we're just going to select the part that we want to add an echo to. We're going to go to Effect and add Echo. And we're just going to click OK. And so now, let's hit play. I hear an echo! Now, that doesn't really sound like an echo. And it's kind of weird because, actually, I found there's another modifier. You can mess with the settings, but I wasn't able to find anything that really sounded much like an echo. So it's weird because there's another sound effect or effect that actually makes the sound effect sound more echoey. So let's control Z to undo that. Let's go to effect and the one you're going to look for is reverb. Now there you see there's a bunch of settings here and you can mess with them to see if it works and just hit preview. Echo! And that sounds more like an echo. And if you wanted to be more echoey you can increase that. Echo! Size, and it sounds a little more echoey. But I'm, uh, I think 50 is going to work for me so I'm just going to click OK. Now let's hit play. I hear an echo! And so that's how it works. That's how you add an echo. Alright, so these are some of the main effects. Those are some of the main effects. And let me show, show you one more. It doesn't even really, it kind of messes it up so it doesn't even sound like a voice anymore, but it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so. Ah! That was horrible acting, but let me trim off that last part. Now, here's a really fun one. I'm just going to trim out any extra audio. Select this, click Effect, and we're going to go to Paul Stretch, and click OK. And it's weird. It's weird. Ah! 
It basically drags your voice out and changes it. You can repeat it. Most of the time, it sounds like it'd be something that would go into a horror thing or something. And so, so those are some of the effects you can do with voices and edit the voices. And you can have a lot of fun to make the voices sound different. And I'm no professional. I'm just giving you the basics. Maybe someday I'll get into some more advanced stuff. But that's how you do it. So go ahead and play around with it a little bit. Have some fun. And like I said, I'm going to show you how to create that effect like this right here. I am a robot. So there are several ways to sound like robots with audacity. That doesn't sound much like a robot. So I'll show you a couple ways real quick. So let's re-record this. I am a robot. So what I did for that first one, first of all, I'm going to trim that out and cut out the background noise. Select a little bit of background noise, noise reduction, get noise profile, click here, effect, noise reduction, click OK. Yeah, it's a little bit of a process. Then effect, just amplify it, just some stuff to do before. Now what I'm going to do what I generally do to make it sound like that is what I do is copy everything in this track, control C, then I add a new track by going to tracks, add new, stereo track, and then I just press control V on the keyboard. And so I actually have two tracks that are in the exact same position. I am a robot. So then what I do is I go to effect, I select one of these, just one of them, effect, and then change pitch. And so I can do about negative. Let me try negative 25 and click OK. And so we have one that's my regular pitch, and we have one that's a deeper pitch, and it sounds like this. I am a robot. And so it's pretty simple. That's how I do it. And then there is another way to sound like a robot, and so I'm just going to record it. And I'm going to give the typical no pitch change voice. That sounds like a robotic voice. So I am a robot. Okay. I'm not going to bother cutting out the background noise, but I'm just going to go to Effect, Amplify, click OK. Then what you can do, if you mess with the echo and the reverb, they actually gener generally result in some kind of robotic sounding voices. So I click OK after playing echo. I am a robot. I wonder what it sounded like if I actually repeated that. I am a robot. Doesn't sound very good. And then you can actually apply the reverb too if you want to. Click OK. I am a robot. Okay, so this is just a basic robotic voice tutorial. If you wanted a more advanced tutorial, I could probably get one for you. But this is just the basics. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you're going to get out there and start messing around and creating some of your own sound effects. It's lots of fun. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to our game crew. As a matter of fact, there are links below if you're interested in joining as a viewer. And I think just be sure to leave a comment and a like. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.